Only watch foreign movies in their intended language. This is one thing that make people understand. Welcome to my channel. My name is Joseph and I'm a film fanatic. We discuss movies, series, stories in general and what it takes to make them good. Back on the Oscar train and one of the most beautifully named movies I've ever seen, let's talk about Anatomy of the Fall. This is your spoiler warning. I'm going to give you a thorough analysis of the work. I will definitely discuss major plot points, but I'll try my best to keep it minimal. Anatomy of a Fall is a 2023 drama directed by Justine Tree. It stars Sandra Hula as Sandra Voita, Swan Arlo as Vincent, Milo Machado Grana as Daniel, and Samuel Pease as Samuel Mineski. It follows the public court case over the cause of Samuel's death, with his wife Sandra being the prime suspect and fighting to defend herself. Stop! I did not kill him. That's not the point. This is a phenomenal movie that easily highlights the quintessential aspects of a good drama. The story itself is so uncomplicated. It allows for exposition and characters to be very fleshed out and very humane. In other words, the beauty in this movie is in how real it is. Starting from the morning of the accident allows us to form opinions on the accident. As the story continues, we learn a handful of controversial facts and our opinions are turned against us. So we join the audience members in the court to ponder what really could have happened. The way the story is told amplifies this. The atmosphere is effortly intense and we are presented facts in an unbiased manner that continue to keep us hooked yet allow room for emotional complexities from the characters and also within ourselves like a good thought-provoking movie should. The tension between the couple is so clear. You're cold-hearted. You have no pity. Yes, and you have way too much for yourself. I, I can't can stand any more of your fucking eyes! <laughs> These are two intelligent individuals with a very strong sense of self and pent up resentment that we see play their family long before Samuel's death. No element is wasted here. All aspects of their lives is reflected in their mannerisms, their personality, and even their work to give us not just characters but real people. Majority of the actors did outstandingly well, including the dog. But all glory goes to Sandra Hewler. She finished work and delivered a very relatable character that even gets many people annoyed when we see her go through what she is put through. I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm sorry, but I don't know. You, you, you come here, okay, with your maybe your opinion, and you tell me who. Samuel was and what we were going through. Kudos to Milo and Samuel as well. Even the song used by Daniel on the day of the accident is essential to the story. And all of Daniel's piano sequences is essential to his character and even the story as a whole. Kudos to the director. The themes tackled in this movie are very adult themes and really add layers to the story. Almost every married person should watch this movie and see how convoluted the experience may be for others. Especially with pent up resentment, passive aggressiveness, and let's not even talk about domestic violence. Another noteworthy thing is dealing with regrets, both from an unfortunate incident and the total payoff of one's life decisions. In conclusion, I'll give this movie a 9.5 because the climax didn't really give. I guess that in itself is consistent with the story's tone and kind of expected from a drama, but Daniel's realization scene kind of fell off the guide for me. Other than that, I could not find a single thing wrong with this movie. It is a remarkable drama, and if it had won Best Picture, I wouldn't have been mad. But what do I know? Thank you so much for watching this video, and I really hope you watch Anatomy of a Fall if you haven't. I hope you share your thoughts in the movie in the comments and what you like best. What are your best parts of the movie, and did you think the climax was actually good? I actually believe it killed itself from the start, but what do you think? I will definitely finish all 10 movies from the Oscars, so please like and subscribe, and you see me soon.